Hey everyone, it's Jordan, also known as X-3. Today I want to teach you guys this mythical angel pad. Although it doesn't sound quite like a pad, it sounds more like high-pitched strings. I'll let you determine what it sounds like. Anyways, I have this little pre-made song going on and I've been making it for a day and a half so far. And I decided that this song needed a new synth. So I'm going to teach you guys this synth. I'm going to play it from the middle. And yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is throw in a combinator. Rename this, uh, I don't know, Angel Pad or Mythical. And we're going to throw in Thor. Make sure it's initialized. You can do this in settings or right clicking and initializing it. Anyways, open it up. So the first things we're going to do are throw in our oscillators. The first one we're going to work with is a multi-oscillator. I want to turn this up two octaves, and I'm going to set this to fifths up. I'm then going to take the amount of this to full. Watch what happens when I play a key, and then switch it from nothing to full. It gets much more fat because it's detuning all of its frequencies. Anyways, next go to oscillator 2. Oh, I'm sorry, for oscillator 1 you want to make sure it's on the very bottom one. It's a pulse. Next, you want to throw on an FM pair. Set it to a quarter, leave it where it is. The carrier should be 6. Octave up by 2 or by one, I'm sorry. And the mod will be three. Okay, let's see what this sounds like now. That FM gives a higher frequency pitch. We're going to throw up the res to 46. We're gonna throw up the envelope to 64. Just doing these kind of like a spot and turn up the drive to about 75. For our last oscillator, sorry for going to the filter but it kind of bugged me that this wasn't fixed. For our third oscillator, we're going to choose a multi oscillator. We're going to choose a square and we're going to take it up two octaves. And we're going to also take this amount to full and change the detune mode to octave up down. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is attack the mod envelope. We're going to take the decay down to 705. Let me make sure that's correct. About 700, somewhere around there. Make sure sustained is kind of matching where the decay is. And for the release, take that down a bit, so about 2.2 and a quarter seconds. Next, for the amp envelope, throw up the sustain full. Turn on delay, tempo sync, and chorus. For the time on tempo delay, take that to 2 sixteenths. Take the feedback all the way up to 74. The dry wet, you can take that down to about 31. Next, for the chorus, we just take down the dry wet to about 25 or so. And that will do it for the chorus. Let's see where our sound sounds now. Okay, 
Make sure they're turned on number three. I want to take this down a bit. As it will start to create more of a pluck. But I will leave that up for now since we're going to use automation to modulate this. For our mod bus, this is the last part of the synth. We go down to the mod bus, we choose filter envelope. For the destination needs to be filter one frequency modulation. Set this to 55, I'll play a few keys so that way you notice the difference. It gets a little bit sharper. For the amp envelope, the last thing I forgot to do is turn up the release to about a second or 600 milliseconds should work. Any, any time frame between those two. So we get more of a ringing chord with this. Okay, that's basically it for the synth. Now let's polish the synth a little bit more. So I'm going to throw on an RV7000 Advanced Reverb, take the dry wet, and the decay down to about a quarter or below a quarter. The patch we're going to use for this is called Warm Plate. Make sure those parameters stay the same. It gives it a little bit more air and room to breathe. Next, throw on two equalizers. Okay, for param 1, we're going to take this frequency, sorry, we're going to take this frequency to 1.246, so 1.2 1, 1 kilohertz, somewhere in that range. Take the gain all the way down and the Q all the way up. We're going to remove this frequ frequency entirely. So the next frequency we want to remove is 1.75 kilohertz. All right, take the gain. We're going to take this a little bit down, but not all the way down. Negative 10 decibels, Q all the way up. We're going to take the low cut and the low shelf. Turn those on. For the low shelf, take the frequency to about, I think, somewhere around 100 hertz. Throw the gain all the way down and the Q, make sure that's as low as it can go. For high shelf, turn this on and make sure the gain is boosted by 1.1 and the Q, just leave it at 0.5. The next two frequencies we want to take out are some harsher harmonics. So for P1 of our second EQ, take this to 5 kilohertz. and throw the gain all the way down and the Q all the way up. The second parameter, you want to take this all the way to 20,000 kilohertz, throw the gain all the way down and the Q all the way up. There's a lot of high ringing that I don't like in the 20,000 kilohertz range. I don't know why this won't go higher. I've done hearing tests and I can hear 21,000 kilohertz, so I don't know why we just stop there. Anyways, Let's see where our synth is now. Much more happy. So the final thing we want to do is right click, throw, not the final thing, but to make it wider, throw on the echo. You can do this two ways. If you don't have the echo, you can always throw on a digital delay line. And you want to set this to milliseconds. And the millisecond time you want to set is 75. So you will start to get a much louder signal. And it's similar to panning and widening. But since I have the echo, I'm going to use that. Turn it on. Set the time all the way down. Turn it off sync. Set the right offset to 16 milliseconds. Give it a little bit more width and turn on key pitch. We'll throw this down a few octaves. There we go. That sounds a little bit nicer to me. 
Since we want to crisp this up a little bit more, I'm gonna throw in a screen for distortion. I'm gonna throw this to tape. I'm gonna take my damage to 40. I'm gonna turn up my P1 three quarters of the way, so about 106. And P2, I'm gonna take that to about 23. Next, throw on a maximizer. Take it off limiter, put release to auto, turn on soft clip, and set the amount to full. This will give it a nice rich warmth rather than clipping it. You can turn on limiter too, but this will just stop the frequencies and eliminate the soft clip. That sounds a little bit better to me. The last thing we need to do is make sure this echoes. So I'm going to right click on my Thor, throw in a DDL1 digital delay line, set it to two milliseconds. I'm gonna throw this up above Thor. I'm gonna set my feedback to 64. I'm gonna set my dry wet to about a quarter. And I'm also gonna throw in a UN16 unison unit. I wanna turn up my detune to full and set my dry wet somewhere around 13 or 14. Okay, now the last thing you wanna do is open up your show programmer, choose Thor, rotary one, the target needs to be the filter frequency. Make sure it's filter frequency one, rename this cut off, and right click, edit automation. I'm just gonna draw in a few lines. So extend this. I wanna choose C major. There we go, play that for one bar. I think I'll loop it. And I'm also going to turn this synth down quite a bit because it sounds a little bit too harsh to me. It's just too loud for me. Edit automation, draw in a little dot right here. Blow this up. That's too much. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my rotary down, plop a point up here, so that way it sweeps into the sounds. Now this 64, this parameter over here, this is the default value. So I wanna set this at zero instead of 64 so it doesn't start in the middle. So now let's have a listen to how this sounds. You can do it the other way too to create some nice stabbing chord effects. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another awesome synth or another cool tutorial. Thanks for checking me out on Tropical uh, Wednesday and I'll check you guys out later uh, tomorrow for a birthday special. Yep, so stay awesome and be safe. Peace. Hey everyone, it's Jordan, also known as X-3. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching these videos. They really do mean a whole lot to me. And I spend a lot more time making these videos than I do probably in my own music. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching these videos. They really do mean a lot to me. Be sure to subscribe for more since they come out every single day. And of course, I'm gonna start tackling on more information and maybe soon some more videos. I'll check you guys out um, tomorrow for a birthday special. And yeah, take care, be safe, and stay cool. Peace.